like, hey, is those zombies? Zombies are huge. So many people have zombies. I might have to start. It's like the number. It's like the sixth man. I guess the sixth man of the year award for dreams as far as top five dreams. <laughs> Zombie dreams are the sixth man of the year. Uh, I may make a video about that. <laughs> okay. So zombies, what are the form of zombies? Well, they are people who have passed on that are reanimated. Now, as far as the function of zombies, I mean, they don't really exist, so they don't really have a function. But the way you could look at the function is reanimating something that's, that's already died. <laughs> so how does that relate to uh, your consciousness? Well, it's a person who has died and has come back to life, it's reanimated. So it has new energy, new life force energy in it that's reanimating it. Not enough to really be fully alive, but enough to kind of function. And so people, as we've talked about, people are the different characteristics of our own personality. You know, the, the universal language of mind is, is in all types of idioms. It's, it's, with, it's ingrained within our language. You know, so you know, characteristics, personality, character, person, you know, it's, it's ingrained in there. So how we act, we act this way, we act that way. We're all capable of acting out different ways. We're all capable of being loving, kind, greedy. You know, we've already talked about this a lot. So you should kind of understand this. Death is the form and the function of death is to change from one state to another, from one form of energy transforming into another. You know, uh, the, every ending is a beginning. You know, life is cyclical. It's a circle. Where does the circle end? You know, if you're on a track, yeah, you pick a spot to start and you pick a spot spot to stop, but it still keeps going. You know, life's the same way. You know, every every day is the same way. You know, you go to sleep, the day's over, but really the night experience begins. You start dreaming whether you're conscious or not. As soon as the dream's over, the dream life ends and dies. And then you wake up and this begins, a new day. So how does that relate to consciousness? Well, it's about self-transformation, how you are changing. So we're always changing, we're always growing, we're always becoming different, we're always evolving. So you know, are we consciously doing it or unconsciously doing it? And death will give us, and a dream will give us insight into, into that. Are we consciously doing it or unconsciously? It'll give us insight into what parts of ourselves are changing so that we can then know, ah, okay, this part of myself is changing. I need to pay more, more close attention to it so I have more control over what it changes into. Just because it's changing doesn't mean, you know, like if like if um if you have a, a part of yourself in a dream that represents, you know, um sadness, and that part dies, you know, in the dream. Well, oh, okay, I'm transforming my sadness. You know, yeah, that can be a great thing, but you have to determine what is that transforming into. You have to determine what it's going to transform into. Is it going to transform into something more elevated and higher, or is it going to transform into something lower? You know, are you going to cause it to create an upward cycle or a, a downward spiral? You know, is it going to cause you to go in an upward spiral or a downward spiral? You know, they, they say uh, 666 is the number of the devil, right? Well, that's because if you draw the number 666, 6, 6, 6, you're in a downward spiral. That's it. That's all it is. That's the only reason it represents that is because it represents a downward spiral. Mew, mew, mew. But at any time on that downward spiral, you can just loop it back up. <laughs> at any time still. Nothing to be afraid of. Ain't nothing scary about that number. It's just a number. <laughs> nothing scary about it. Anyways, that's what death is. Now back to zombies. Now that we understand what people are, we understand what death represents. So a part of ourselves that have died. You know, me, I used to be very confrontational. Um, I've shared plenty of times, like the story that I did of where I, in a lucid dream, I killed that part of myself. I was very confrontational. I'm a, I'm a Taurus bull, so extremely bullheaded. <laughs> and so I still am in certain ways, but nowhere near like that change that part of myself well i also like i was talking about downward spiral upward spiral i made sure you know as soon as i woke up i told myself okay i have 
went in, done, I call it mental surgery. I went in and I've done some mental surgery and I've removed that tumor, that cancer. I removed that part of myself. Now I need to make sure and be on top of it 100% of the time that I am no longer confrontational. And I really did a lot of work to make sure that anytime something came up that I normally would have been confrontational, I made double sure to go the complete opposite. Where now, you know, if I tell people stories of how I used to be, you know, they, they laugh at me. So I joke around all the time, so they, they think I'm just making up a joke. <laughs> Trying to be funny. <laughs> but, you know, people back home, <laughs> where I'm from, they, they think, uh, you know, I'm a fraud, a phony. Like, oh, I know the real Bob. He's nothing like that. <laughs> but I've changed that, and I'm no longer like that. Now, if, if after, you know, if at some point today, I end up being com very confrontational like that again, I'm reanimating this part of myself that has since died, like a zombie, something that's died and you're reanimating it. So, you know, we've all grown, we're all, you know, we're none, none of us, at least I hope, are close to who we were 10 years ago. You know, I'm 37, when I was 27, I actually, actually when I was 27, I was just getting into uh, like really heavy into these things. But uh, yeah, 15 years ago, oh my God. <laughs> funny to think about but I'm nothing like that you know so I'm not that person that's dead and gone but if I start acting in those ways again then it, then I'm, I'll probably go to sleep and have a you know oh zombie apocalypse <laughs> that's when you're like fully acting like you used to like in, in all type of ways not just one not just one zombie coming in the room uh, you know chasing you trying to get to you it's like you know you're really just going backwards and getting into old habits and old ways of thinking and living and things. So that's what a zombie is. <laughs>